Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will introduce you to our new Rhino to Maverick Bridge plugin which will allow you to easily send your models from Rhino to Maverick. In the Try section in the Maverick Render website you will find the Rhino to Maverick installer, which can be downloaded for free. Once it is downloaded and run the installer will automatically detect the versions of McNeil Rhino installed on your computer. Once the bridge plugin is installed, we should see the Maverick toolbar in the Rhino UI. In case that we don't, we may right click on any other Rhino toolbar and activate ours by its name. Rhino to Maverick. The Maverick toolbar presents three buttons. The first one sends the whole scene, or the active selection, to Maverick. The second one will update the whole cellae, or the active selection, in Maverick. The third one will take you to our YouTube channel, or our blog, for video tutorials and other information. Here is a model we downloaded from GrabCAD. The link is in the description of this video. We strongly recommend that you use layers in Rhino to organize your objects per material. This is by far the most efficient way to keep your scenes in check. In this case our CG team reorganized the original model themselves. Let's send our scene to Maverick and wait a few seconds for Maverick to boot up and display the models in the IPR. Here it is. The first thing you must make sure of is that you are using the right navigation mode in the start dialog. You most likely want to select Rhino here. In the objects panel you will see that things are organized in Maverick just like they are in Rhino. Let's go ahead and apply some materials to our objects. In the shading library you will find plenty of materials to choose from. Let's begin with a flakes material from the cars folder. You may drop materials to the objects in the IPR directly, or even better, to groups of objects in the objects panel. This way the material will be applied to all the objects nested by the object at once. Let's keep dressing our scene with some more materials. Let's for example apply a leather material to the interior of the helmet. In order to change the UV mapping of the object, just go to the material properties and adjust its real size attribute. We will keep going until the scene is all dressed up. Now back to Rhino, say that we have kept working on our model and some new objects have been created. We can update the whole scene from the Maverick toolbar. As you will see in Maverick, Pre-existing objects will keep the material we applied to them, while all new objects will appear with their auto-converted material from Rhino, ready for material work in Maverick. Let's go back to Rhino and send some new objects, simulating what would be a conventional modeling process. In this case we will update the selection only, which is much faster than updating the whole scene. We will continue applying materials this way until our scene is done in Rhino and all set up in Maverick. We have seen how easy it is to send your models from Rhino to Maverick. But let's continue working on the C9 Maverick to see how easy it is to achieve photo real results with little effort. From the lighting library you can drop ambiences. Ambiences in Maverick are pre-made configurations with lights, an environment, and a floor of a room, crafted specifically with product presentation in mind. If you drop any of them you will see how well high quality illumination performs in Maverick.
Here's a satisfactory first light setup for our scene. Let's configure our camera viewpoint now. Let's place ourselves where we think will look best and hit the save camera position button. Alternatively, we might create a new camera. Let's now enable depth of field by right clicking on the IPR and selecting disable global DOF. In order to set the focal plane, we may right click on the IPR wherever we want the camera to be focused at and select autofocus. Alternatively, we may use the shortcut control shift and left mouse button. Let's use our focus pre-visualization feature to clearly see what parts of the scene are in or out of focus. In order to adjust the amount of blur outside the focused region we must go to our camera's properties. Let's lock exposure and increase the aperture like we would in a real life DSLR camera. Some depth of field always brings a little bit of extra realism in 3D images. In the lighting library, under lights, you will find some pre-made gradient lights that simulate real-life studio photography hardware. Choose some that you like and drop them to areas that will enhance the contours of your model. Our normal light tool will auto-activate and with the mouse wheel you will be able to slide the light further or closer to the geometry. You may enable the denoiser to get rid of residual image noise more quickly. Once all lights are laid out, we may use one of the most powerful tools in Maverick, Light Mixer. Light Mixer allows you to adjust each light separately without the need to re-render the scene, so you can make multiple variations or moods of your scene very quickly. Once you're done with Light Mixer do not forget to commit the changes you did to the scene. In the Still Frame tab in the Render panel we will configure the output resolution and file name. For the output file format we will choose PNG 16-bit. We enable the denoiser and lower the target SL to 9, which will be enough for this scene. Let's wrap this workflow tour up by setting up a turntable for our model. In the turntable tab let's set object rotation and preview the animation with the scrubbing control. The room is rotating as well, which is not what we want in this case. We may fix this by locking the room in the objects panel. Now we can further configure our turntable's render quality. In this case we will enable the denoiser and lower the target SL to 8. Let's make sure that video encoding is enabled, and choose an output path name. Here you can see the result of some images we have made in a turntable. This is all for today. We have taken a tour through the Rhino to Maverick workflow, achieving photo real results very easily. If you need further details on any part of the process, we invite you to watch our other tutorials in this channel. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.